All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Zombieland, Zombieland Saga, Saga season, season two, two, episode five. five. Yes, <laughs> let's get more of this wonderful show. <clears throat> now, the question is, who do we focus on? Oh, now it is time for Yugiri. That's I get the feeling. Belief. Yeah, I, I think Yugiri is the one that makes a lot of sense. Mm. Junko and I got some focus, mm. and since they had split, ep like split little episode arcs for focus in <gasps> last season and Wait. this season. No. The last episode ended with Ty on the drums. That okay. it's Ty's no, no. time. <laughs> I myself, I myself hope and and would prefer personally some Ty focus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like you could use the one that makes the most sense. Yeah, but yes, yeah. let's get a Ty focus episode at some point. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this season, because that would be awesome. Right, right. That, that would be it's, so it's, good. it's needed. It's yeah. necessary. But last episode was so fucking epic. That so now that hype. we're here, we've got everyone firing on all cylinders yep. for the most part. Mm -hmm. And Kotaro really showing the place that he fits in this dynamic by mm -hmm. being the cheerleader the biggest that's right the biggest kamina of like their their whole you know mm -hmm. you know uh, team daigurin you know like <laughs> yeah assembly it's just uh -huh. yo let's go let's go team team died and now the friend show show mm. team dead friend died friend yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 it works it, it you works. know yeah, don't question it so yo without further ado let's get into that all right everyone now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below then come back here for the discussion That Aww. was adorable. A Lily focused episode. Yep, I, cool, mm -hmm. cool. So Lily's one of like the, the the just the sweetest characters in this mm -hmm. whole story, but also one of the characters that like very much had her own like specific, you know, kind of individual episodes yep. in the first season. So getting that here makes a lot of sense, but also having her have a literal rival after we just had uh -huh. the, you know, the Iron oh, Frill rival, Frill rival yeah. kind of set up is is really uh -huh. cool. And, and then also just resolving this really quickly because it's, you yep. know, it's just a, you know, Japan's got talent kind of. A right, right. Exactly. You know, yeah. Right there. But I, one of the, one of the things that I love about how this show brings in the episodes that focus on the characters is that it will tie back into their, uh, their time when they were alive in some yes. way. Right. Yes. And that's a way so that we can get to know not just who they are now, but who they used to be. Right. Mm hmm. And so, from from a technical level, if they're wanting to get themselves out there, right, then right. it makes sense that Lou would be like, "Hey, what about TV? I, I know how to do the TV thing, you know, uh -huh. and and we can do this." And then, oh yeah, she runs into another child actor, right? right? And and you know, there's this part of us that's worried when we see how uh, how much of a little shit this kid is that he's gonna have some kind of negative effect on Lily. Turns out, no, 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 Lily's no. just fine. She's probably had to deal with this kind of stuff before, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And she did just fine back then, so she does just fine now. Yep. But then, oh no, the complication of, he picked the same song. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and like, not like a thing of like, he saw her notes, you know, it seemed like he, he just, bad luck, you know, you picked the same song. And yeah. we get to see Lily's true chops as a performer because not only can she sing fantastically, she can improvise with the best of them. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, going second probably ruined her chances mm -hmm. because um, we don't know what he would have done if she had gone up there first and sang right. but he's, the same song. He he doesn't think he could have done you know anything like that. So well, he couldn't have improvised. So he would right. have literally done the exact same thing and sung the song, and they would have then right. judge the slight differences in the way they yep. saw, they sang. Mm -hmm. And and to be fair, the kid sung so beautifully. Oh yeah. Or sang so beautifully that he might have still won yep. regardless. And so and this might actually be better because even if Lily had won in that way, mm -hmm. right? The fact that she was able to she make this wonderful him. new thing, yeah, and outperformed him, right? Yeah. The masses recognized it right yeah you know get tv girl yeah move on to social media and exactly. go on to tiktok and become right. a star like, yeah because like holy shit. i mean those got talent shows and everything they're all publicity stunts anyways mm -hmm. most of the people that win don't actually end up like you know they they might still be working a day job you know six months later right and nowadays they're all there to farm clips basically for mm -hmm. youtube yep so that they can then and go hey, viral you did that so you mm -hmm. know like you you did that way better than anyone could have expected and better yep. than you would have been able to if you had sung this if you had sung the song the regular way yeah. right you know so 
Way to go. And and I love that this is a thing that we constantly get reminded of in this season especially, is that we're now in the modern world, mm -hmm. and multiple times now, the alternate forms of media are being expressed through yep. the context of, oh, there was an older way of media being expressed mm -hmm. before, and it still works, Yeah, but there's ways that are way better. Mm -hmm. And I think that this was even shown a little bit by the idea that she did a Rakugo performance, which is stereotypically mm -hmm. a very old style yeah. Japanese bit of like, storytelling, mm -hmm. but really, definitely won the judges over, you know, in that first round. Definitely did your part. You, you acted the shit out of that, mm -hmm. but... Mm, you want to go big in right. the modern yeah. world? People people didn't start sharing around her Rakugo performance. Yeah. Nope, nope, definitely no. not. Too long, you know, a bit mm -hmm. too complicated. Yep, not but, snappy enough, not oh. as imitatable, you know? Yeah, yeah, something that can be imitated. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in this case, we got a social media sensation trend mm -hmm. yep. that then led to, oh, okay, all these other little performances that she then did in front of kids, which is mm -hmm. like, oh, that's, yep. that's perfect it's for great. Lily. Perfect for Lily. And, oh, oh yeah, a whole lot of people are going to be recognizing Friends Show Show now, mm -hmm. right? Like, like the whole thing of Iron Frill declaring them their rivals, they're actually going to be looking back on that and, and theoretically, potentially, before they could be like, I don't know, that's kind of a risky thing. They did a great, they, they did a great, you know, performance, but like, mm -hmm. they're not at our level of like, you know, cultural impact right see you know it might just be so simple that they're like um let's just get out in front of it yep exactly they're better than any other idol group that we've seen thus far right. so they will get big and we'll be able to you ride know. their coattails too exactly wouldn't and you be comfortable like just knowing that while they're probably a national level idol group they're probably still like in the top five and not the top two sure. you know so yeah. it's more of a thing of like oh there's like four other groups that are good enough that we couldn't say where Iron Frill mm -hmm. fits in that mix right. there. But if Franz Shosho becomes number one, then mm -hmm. they kind of by default become number two. Sure. And and you can bet that after that announcement and all mm. of the people being like, wait, who's Franz Shosho? You know, like yeah, all the yeah. people on, on TV, right? They didn't right, see right. the performances. Yeah. After this, they're mm. going to be like, oh shit, Iron yeah, yeah. Frill versus Franz Shosho. Yeah, let's this is go. Be good. Let's yeah, yeah. go. Yeah. Uh huh. So and 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 yeah, we we got our we got our single little character focused episode, yep. and that's pretty much the majority of it. It yep. was cool to see little bits of reminders of, you know, Lily's father, mm -hmm. and he's still out there. Yep. And yeah, yeah. And Let's Lily, you on, yeah. And Lily might have made a new fan. A new fan, because yep. you mm -hmm. know. What is victory, right? You know, yeah, yeah. some judges say you're the best, and eh, sure. that's fine. That's not the true victory. The true victory is winning over your opponent, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Not just making them think, oh, damn, I think they were the better performer, but also, oh, I kind of might maybe want like to be yeah. a bit more like you. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. like I, I like the way you do things. You, mm -hmm. you inspire me. Okay. Right, right. All right. Let's let's perform together. Let's collab sometime. at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that, that's yeah. that's just such a good vibe. Yep. And then of course, okay, we we've got now Lily checked off. We got mm -hmm. Junko. Yep. We've got I. We've got Lily. Um, we got Saki. So now it's Sakura, Tai, and Yukari. Yep. Yeah. And I mean Tai, unless they go like you know, like actual full bore whole hog, you know, like I have I have seen some other anime episodes where they like focus entirely on like the mascot character that's mm -hmm. like not even a like not even a person like a, a dog or something yeah, like that yeah. you know and those sometimes work well i feel like with ty it could work better but uh -huh. you know i i feel like i feel like ty <laughs> could be done like like that that is something that you could do but you know it's just it's, a question of how it, yeah exactly also so, yeah. i want to i want to throw out that kotro was also fantastic this episode yeah with him, his part him coming in you know to give his usual pep talk and nope nope sit down lily is here and yep. she is giving the speech and it's just like oh okay and then, <laughs> sound effects were so good yep. just like, and then i'm i'm going to be a a a, a, a mud a mud a skipper mud skipper during mating season yeah <laughs> what the and, fuck and oh, and, <laughs> and the thing is <laughs> is that they didn't explain the joke in the show or what no. the, the the logic behind Kotaro's no. inane scheme, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, we could tell what it was. Yeah, <laughs> he's going right before, so yep. Lily's gonna look real good by comparison next to him. 
<laughs> but yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.